Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about seven expensive rec room mistakes that, let's face it, we've all made at one time or another. Before we dive into it, today's video is sponsored by VR Wave. These amazing folks have made it possible for all you glasses wearing VR enthusiasts to put away your specs and start gaming in comfort. No more wrestling with ill-fitting glasses and squinting to see the game. VR Wave offers prescription lenses that fit right into your VR headset and they're so simple to use. Even I, with my perfect vision, can't resist the charm of VR Wave's blue light non-prescription lenses. They protect my eyes from blue light exposure and keep my headset lenses pristine. VR Wave is actually pre-selling lenses for the Quest 3 right now, so if you've got plans to purchase the new Meta headset, then don't worry, they've got you covered. You can check out the link in the description below for all their products, including other VR accessories as well. Now let's talk about these seven expensive Rec Room mistakes. Number one, spending tokens on things that can be earned with tickets. Now most storefronts in Rec Room Originals are full of items you have to earn legitimately by playing the game. You can't purchase laser tag tickets, nor can you fork out real money to get the Scallywag outfit and aisle. However, the new Rec Room Original, Make It to Midnight, proved that if there's a way to bypass the system, people will pay. Day one of this horror game being out and I saw players running around with the complete ringmaster suit, having paid good money to exchange for tickets and circumvent having to grind. There's something to be said for how big of a factor impatience plays when it comes to budgeting. A few days or a week of grinding, and I'm sure most people could have unlocked these items without spending a dime, but some people need to make expensive mistakes ASAP or else it wears on their conscience. Number two, buying a token or special clothing bundle just for one item that's rare. Token bundles in Rec Room are a funny thing. Sometimes it'll be some completely random item like a winter scarf in the middle of a heat wave in July, or an ugly set of gloves no one wanted to begin with. However, I think we've all been guilty of seeing something that's rare, even if it's just a recolor of an item that we already own, and handing over our credit card. It's the epitome of Rec Room pulling at our heartstrings. I know people who had purchased both 15,000 token keytars at RecCon last year, and proceeded to buy the recolor when it came out in a token bundle. I have another friend, who will remain anonymous, who owned all but one of the Rec Trooper outfit sets, and caved in to buying the bundle for $70 that had all of them, just to get the complete set in every color. Yes, you usually get tokens with these purchases so we can really justify our poor spending habits at the time, but I'd still say it qualifies as an expensive mistake. Probably you don't really need the tokens, which one could argue you're also going to spend on another poor financial decision down the road, but you also probably don't need a recolor of something you already have either. If you're one of those players with money to burn, who buy every token bundle, I'm kind of jealous though. That's some serious dedication to the game. Number three, buying fly in a room you'll never go back to. Remember that time you were with your friends and FNAF and friends, costume, RP, hangout, one, two, three, four, and you bought fly for 5,000 tokens just to show off? Yeah, me neither. That proves my point right there. If you want to support a room creator for an awesome room, by all means purchase the in-game consumables. However, note the price and remember what that costs in real money. Otherwise, you might find yourself overspending on small perks on a map you might never go back to. Number four, buying an amulet for 20,000 tokens just to open a door. Let's be real, the elsewhere items look good. Well, except that belt of elsewhere. That one's kind of mid. But when the amulet of elsewhere first came out, it was 20,000 tokens, and I can't be the only one out there who reckoned that purchasing it would give you some special powers to wield over other Rec Room players. I mean, it was the most pricey item ever to be released in the game. It had a fancy asterisk by it, and the storefront was an invention tower of all places. The whole thing just screamed, buy me, you won't regret it. Do I regret it? Kind of. Turns out that wearing the amulet just lets you open a door and you get some further message containing useless lore, strange occurrences, tears in the fabric of space and time. Huh? We all left the room feeling more confused than when we'd entered, and since then, we've had many more elsewhere items that have proven to be an expensive mistake. Unless you like having a glowing clothing item on you as a token of a reminder of the money you spent in the game. I guess it is a flex, if nothing else. Number five, gifting a beggar who is really convincing. The gift beggars. Ugh, I saw one this morning. Never seen them before in my entire life. And they go, can you gift me for my wish list? I just give them that sideways look. And it takes every fiber in my being to keep my mouth shut and not say, can you not ask strangers for gifts because it sounds really obnoxious and there's no point because I'm not doing it. Alas, sometimes you'll get a really convincing beggar. You know the one I'm talking about. They'll start telling you that they're broke, they spent all their tokens gifting some other friend, and now their charity has left them destitute just as Rec Room released a new sword skin that everyone playing Golden Trophy seems to be sporting. It's hard to not feel bad because you genuinely hear the pain and the angst in their voice and you're only human. Of course, now you can't help but feel guilty because you have 10,000 tokens just burning a hole in your pocket and they're experiencing the world's most contagious episode of FOMO. So you gift the poor kid. They're over the moon, they open the box, nearly crying tears of joy, and that sword skin appears to make their day. And then suddenly they're gone. You blink and next Tuesday rolls around and you realize you're now too broke to afford pizza in rec room and are kicking yourself slightly for gifting a stranger who may or may not have been telling the truth. Is it a mistake? Possibly. Some people might argue that paying it forward is never something to regret though, and I'm sure eventually, someday, 
the Requiem universe will repay your good karma. Number six, buying a 24,000 token set because you think you'll wear it. I myself have made many expensive mistakes in Requiem, and I'll be the first to admit it. A new storefront will magically appear on a random Thursday afternoon, and it's full of all sorts of goodies that are impossible to resist. Most recently, this was a 24,000 token fortune teller set, complete with some very enticing wrist cuffs. Requiem even strategically placed a holotar wearing the entire set and waving their arms around mysteriously beside the storefront. How could people say no to that? The unfortunate reality is, though, most of us will buy the set and then make an outfit with it that's buried on page 5 of all of our other outfit slots and forget it even exists. Just like that pumpkin outfit you bought last Halloween and that invasion shovel you thought was cool at the time. I'm all for supporting Rec Room by buying cool items, but I'm also all for preserving one's financial budget by thinking twice and saying, do I really need this before blowing $30 to look like a fortune teller for a day? Number 7 buying things before trying them on. Now, some of you may not realize this, but in your dorm, you can actually try out things before you purchase them. It's a really nifty feature. If you didn't realize this though, you've likely spent countless tokens buying items only to realize that the thumbnail doesn't match the invention, that dorm skin isn't really your style, or that floral hat actually looks terrible on you, especially with the harsh lighting in dorms. So the next time you're thinking of buying something, try it out or try it on first. You'll save yourself a ton of headache. And bonus, the one mistake you won't regret. If you want to do something in Rec Room that's free, charitable, and will make you feel good about yourself, you can hit the support button on your favorite RecTubers profile or use their creator code. The best part about using a creator code is it doesn't cost you a thing. So the next time you're making any of these poor financial decisions in the game that I mentioned, make sure you use code Terra. Let me know in the comments what the worst decision you've ever made while playing Rec Room is, and then if you want to watch another video, I put one up on the screen here. You're really going to enjoy this one, promise. So I'll see you over there.